Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Dino Times. I'm your guys' host, Dakota Morgan, coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona. Today, we're going to be talking about something and actually not prehistoric uh, animal or also dinosaur related. We are going to be taking a look at bugs. Yeah, everyone's favorite little bugs, right? But we're going to be taking a look at prehistoric bugs and why they got so large. Now, one of the reasons why bugs got so large, like the Magnero that we know, the large dragonfly, the huge centipedes, all the well, millipedes, all this stuff like that, we are like. Bugs were massive. You had the scorpions as well. Uh, of course, these are not the scientific names of them, but nevertheless, one of the reasons why is the atmosphere. Millions of years ago, Earth's atmosphere was warmer and had more moisture in the air, and oxygen levels were very much higher than they are today in the Carboniferous uh, to Permian time periods. Now, the oxygen period, uh, oxygen right now going on is 21% today, but back in the day, <laughs> back in the day, it was 31 to 35 percent oxygen, which can lead to a lot more blood flow, can lead to a lot more growing, can lead to a lot more just evolutionary st uh, happenings, to say the least. Because if you have more of the oxygen, it allows your body to grow. It allows, you, like I said, your blood to flow and allow you to get bigger. And your uh, it is really, really good for evolution. Now that kind of goes into it with the air that insects don't actually breathe like you would think. Insects actually use air flowing openings across their body called spiracles, which connect to the tissues that need oxygen. So when they're flying and the air flows through or they're crawling or whatever it may be, or even just, you know, slithering around, it actually the air goes in through their body like that, through their skin. So that allows them to breathe. Now quickly though, why we don't see big bugs today other than the atmosphere is because the evolution of birds led to the downfall of the insects. As birds evolved, it became more bigger, a lot more threatening, a lot more damaging. The large insects couldn't keep up. And so therefore large insects had to become smaller in evolution standards. But that, folks, is a quick little reason on why bugs were very large back in the day in prehistoric times. If you guys did learn something, leave a like on the video, subscribe for more paleo content of Dino Times, and much more here on the channel. I've been you guys, host Dakota Morgan, and as always, folks, remember, science is real.